What's up everybody, Ian here for Cult of Mac. And with the iTunes breakup just around the corner and the rise in popularity of cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive, the idea of managing your iOS device through your Mac or your PC is getting harder and a lot less accessible. But it doesn't have to be, thanks to today's sponsor, AnyTrans by iMobi. AnyTrans for iOS is an all-in-one iPhone manager and transfer app for both Mac and PC, as well as a powerful backup utility for all the iOS devices in your life. If you remember the hassle of having to transfer files to and from your iPhone through iTunes, AnyTrans makes that dead simple. Just like plugging in a flash drive, you can quickly drag and drop files from AnyTrans onto your desktop or to another phone or another device on your machine. AnyTrans also offers a couple ways to back up your iPhone to your Mac, much like an iTunes or iCloud backup, with a few exceptions. With the full AnyTrans backup, you can back up almost everything on your iPhone including 10 types of files that aren't backed up through iTunes. Though it wasn't immediately clear to me what those 10 types of files were. The data can also be encrypted using the same system as your iTunes encrypted backups, a must for improved security. Once a full backup has been completed once, you can use incremental backups to back up only the things that have changed since the previous backup, saving both time and space on your Mac. The final backup option is Air Backup, which is any trans version of an iCloud type backup it backs up locally to your Mac as long as your phone and your Mac are both on Wi-Fi and AnyTrans is accessible on your Mac. Unlike with iTunes backups, the backups created with AnyTrans can be explored much like they would be a zip file. These backups can be opened up, you can browse the files in them, you can pull things out of the backups, and it makes it really convenient for taking a maybe dead or dying phone, pulling everything off of it, and then being able to sift through that to find those important pictures, or voice memos or whatever you have saved on that device that you need to recover later. It is worth noting that any trans backups don't back up health data, Apple Pay stuff, or other personal or sensitive data like an iTunes or iCloud backup would, but they are great for backing up the physical content of your device. The AnyTrans Social Messages Manager is a separate backup feature which can help you transfer backup and restore messages, photos, and other content from third-party messaging services like WhatsApp, Line, and Viber. Typically, there isn't a good, reliable way to back up this content other than screenshots or saving pictures to your camera roll. But if you need that data backed up somewhere, AnyTrans has you covered. A pair of features I really enjoy in AnyTrans are the clone and merge features. With the clone feature, you can essentially duplicate the contents of one device onto another iOS device, which can be really great for developers who need to set up sample files or sample content on a whole bunch of test devices. The merge feature allows you to take two iPhones and it allows you to more simply kind of blend the content onto one device. One final really cool feature of AnyTrans is their media downloader. With the media downloader, you can essentially paste in a YouTube link, a SoundCloud link, a Vimeo link, or even just search for something and find the results inside the media downloader. This content can then be downloaded from the web onto your machine, allowing you to watch it offline. Or if you wanted to have a whole playlist of music downloaded, from SoundCloud and not have to use your data to listen to that music. AnyTrans packs tons of useful features and goes above and beyond what iTunes can do, all in a single unified app. If you tend to deal with a ton of iOS devices in your life, or you really care about backing up the data that's on your iOS devices, give AnyTrans a try at the link below. And a huge thanks to the folks over at iMobi for sponsoring this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and let me know if you found this helpful. And until next time, I'm Ian for Cult of Mac, Catch you in the next one.